Hi guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Time Shelter by Georgi Gospodinov. This is another international book, 2023 nominee. It was translated to English by Angela Roder and it is a pretty mid-length novel all about time, memory and history. This was translated, I believe, from the Bulgaria and in it we follow our main character a narrator who remains unnamed for the entire length of the book as he comes into contact with Gostin, a man who is looking to build up this clinic for Alzheimer's patients who there will be able to live in the time period they remember the most, which in most cases is the time period they grew up in. The book both discusses the creation of this place and all that it entails, which is basically reflections on history, on time, on how we see and remember historical events, as well as the problematicness of placing some areas in relation to certain events. It talks about events such as World War II as well as different wars, and I believe it even mentioned 9-11 uh, at the very end. But as you can probably guess, by the fact that this is a book and that it has to have some movement, some problems start to arise as the clinic gets established and as more people are willing to get into it, the place will start to become, as the blog says, haunted by the past. This is a book that will, as it moves forward, begin to really dig into memories, into history and into even how we remember such history. This is a book that, despite the seriousness of the topics it deals with, is also a novel that is written in a very satiric writing style. It's a book that makes constant references to literature from all over the world. It, I believe that might be read as a bit pretentious coming from a book as this one, but I believe it's a part of the entire satirical tone of the novel. This is a book that, as I have said, examines history and how we think of it. It's also a book that talks about being an immigrant and the immigrant experience as our main character is a Bulgarian man living, I believe, in Switzerland or in Germany. I don't really remember right now where he was. But anyway, it talks about that as well and it also, of course, is going to discuss politics and politics within Europe. I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is a book that is very European. Most of the historical events that it talks about are European events and most of the politics it talks about are European politics. It's a book that really makes you think about history repeating itself and the inevitability to stop that is a book about how the past will always haunt us and how there is no escape from it but at the same time it's also a book that talks about friendship and communication. Communication is in fact a very important part of the book since our main character doesn't really establish a normal relationship with this ghosting man who doesn't really tell him much about the whole purpose of the creation of this building. This is, of course, a book that is also going to briefly talk about health, especially physical health, as the physical health and its disintegration when you age. It's a book that talks about Alzheimer's, about memory and about the impossibility of remembering anything once you grow old. It's also a book that briefly talks about things such as language and language barriers and it's overall a book that I would say has a better concept than an execution. And now I'm coming to the part of the video where I talk about my personal opinion of the book. Time Shelter is a book that I believe from the premise promises a lot. It's a book that has this very exciting concept and that you are excited to get into because you know it's going to examine history and that and how we interact with it and that is something that is usually exciting to read about. However, in this book, this promised plot 
came up to read a little bit tedious at some moments. The book started to feel ironically pretty repetitive while I was reading it and it also dragged a little bit at some points which doesn't make it a less important read. In fact, I hugely recommend you read this book if you like history and if you're interested in this kind of novels. But in my own personal opinion, Time Shelter was not the exciting novel I was expecting when I read the plot and I think it could have benefited from a better execution. The book was also, at some moments, pretty info dumpy which make you feel like you are reading a history textbook when this was supposed to be a novel. But overall, I quite enjoyed my reading experience. I liked that I was able to learn a few, a few things and I hope this gets shortlisted if it avoids some other books from getting into the shortlist, to be completely honest. I also overall really enjoyed the writing style, I really like the funny tone that some moments of the book had and maybe in the future I will read something else by this author. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read Time Shelter, comment down below what were your thoughts on it. Comment down below if you're reading in the International Bookers Long List and what are your thoughts on the books you've read so far. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I hope you're just amazing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!